Yeah, thank you, Murugesh uh, Anna, for introducing me and for giving the opportunity to share my views and then what are the scholarship opportunities and how I get here in South Korea. First of all, uh, I just I would like to thank you first. Mm. And um, before going to the discussion about scholarship opportunities and uh, how I get here. So as you can see here in the slide, so maybe you can just simply say, I'm going to talk about uh, the topic. So before uh, starting about my, uh, my talk, so I would like to just introduce myself. So my, uh, my name is Tinku and uh, currently I'm pursuing my master's in uh, Sogang University and collaboration work with the UNIST, which is also National University of Science and Technology. Uh, these are uh, very good private universities in South Korea. And uh, now I'm uh, in final semester of master's, which is thesis semester, which I can call it as. So, and previously I done my bachelor's uh, in uh, Rajiv Gandhi University of Knowledge Technologies, uh, triple IT RK Valley, uh, major in mechanical engineering. And after that, uh, I had done my project. Uh, uh, I worked as a project assistant in uh, uh, IIT Karakpu uh, for uh, one year, for one year. So after that, uh, I just decided to pursue my higher studies uh, in my field. And previously, I worked on microfluidics, a research area under uh, Suman Chakrabarti, uh, Professor Suman Chakrabarti in IIT Karakpur. Um, after that, uh, so I just fell to work on uh, different uh, research field because uh, if you get uh, work on different uh, research field, so you'll get to know exposure of all the research areas. So for that, uh, I decided to work on photonics, which can combine microfluidics and photonics, so which can be optofluidics. So that's I'm going to ma make a new research area. For that, uh, I decided that one. So before going to be this, I'm going to talk about the um, the list of contents which I am going to talk. Uh, one second, I wanted to interrupt you. Yeah, actually, uh, you seem to have uh, gone through different institutions before coming to masters. That is, uh, very few people able to crack it. I mean, I mean to yeah. say, like, uh, uh, it's good to go multiple institutions and that two repeated institutions like IIT, IASC, and even Raman Research Institute. You had uh, some interaction there. Yeah, yeah. Actually, so uh, after my third year of uh, bachelor's, uh, yeah. uh, we had a chance to go for internship from okay. my university. So, but uh, initially, uh, I was uh, because most of the people from mechanical engineering go for industry or some other things. But I opted for research things, so which can be particularly in IITs because uh, you know uh, in India, so IITs has most uh, like vast areas and good facility to work on research areas. So after having multiple choices, um, and even there are some uh, fellowships for internship also in bachelor's. So even I applied for that one. And, uh, but uh, unfortunately I got in uh, IIT Madras under uh, Professor Ashish Kumar Singh. He's the finest uh, professor in who is working on microfluidics. Because uh, before going to the IIT Madras, I never uh, done uh, like I never had experience on microfluidics. I never know what is microfluidics really on the bachelors, uh, because uh, we just uh, learned about fluid mechanics and then dynamics. That's it. But uh, when I went there, then I started to work on microfluidics because uh, we study the fluids in the micro level macro level but in the microfluidics we can study the properties and the vast applications in micro level by creating the micro channels uh, so in the biological applications in other applications so they uh, I, I was worked on um, because i didn't uh, I, I didn't expect that you can ask me so that's, uh, that's why i didn't uh, include my research uh, profile like no 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 one second actually yeah. uh, why i want to interrupt this topic is because uh, yeah. maybe we cannot conclude all the topic at the moment but just to give an idea for the people who are watching like yeah. Uh, yeah. many people think it's a challenging or maybe it is complicated to get some different uh, the institutional interactions or the work culture i mean uh, temporary internships but you have made it on i think 3 to 4 institutions right yes 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 yeah so that's where maybe uh it gives some motivation for some of those maybe yeah, we'll sure. get back again to this topic if you have time at the end so for now i think can continue 
yeah, yeah, a short, that's, yeah, that's yeah. A, because just like uh, unless i am speaking with you know, yeah. like uh, that's one but if i just shown uh, the the research area which i have done like internship ah one, true 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 the yeah. better i think so just like if i speak like this uh, maybe without any slides without any so yeah. so it yeah, like that. but it's okay but i can just go with a brief uh, introduction of that one yeah, so late, after yeah. my in the two months i done my two months internship uh, in a, i can say in the summer i can say june to july so after there uh, i just started working on microfluidic initial the basic level i can say started from the uh, simulation in the kamsol which you can hear about mostly it is a multi physics so not only fluid mechanics you can just do electrical the electrical and physics work the simulation work in kamsol so because uh, my professor just advised me because you are starting the uh, initial stage of microfluidics so start from the basic things maybe in the future you can get a chance to work in the higher research areas the more so after that uh, when i finished the uh, internship and we had a chance in triple it uh, or jkd uh, we had one year of internship maybe that's optional if you want to go out and work uh, you can go or else you can just work as a like your final year project we can say at the institution itself but uh, i just opted uh, to go outside to explore the research area and so uh, i just started applying a lot of fellowships uh, which are available at the time and unfortunately like uh, it's uh, my i can say it's a uh, better thing that uh, i got uh, visiting research uh, program there is a visiting research program uh, in raman research, research institute yeah, yeah, yeah. in bangalore so which for six months i can say so it's uh, six to seven months so and uh, i just applied there and uh, based upon my basic level one of my professor consider me uh, because he's also working on uh, microfluidics uh, his name is a uh, professor gautam v soni Oh. yeah he's really really very nice guy i can say he just uh, he just told me that don't call me professor just call me gautam so we just be <laughs> very, uh, he used to be called uh, his name like gautam himself so after that uh, i done my 6 to 7 months of uh, my final year project i can say under a uh, visiting re- uh, research program and i learned really a lot thing because 6 and 6 to 7 more uh, is more more time compared to the initial internship uh, duration so that uh, i worked on my final year project um, so it was good opportunity to learn from there after my bachelor's was done and and i just submitted my final year project uh, which i had done in the rri in- institution and i just started because uh, because i just felt if you just immediately go for industry or immediately go for higher studies uh, without just like experience without any knowledge of which you are working in the research area so i just thought to work more and getting involved in other institution or in the same institution uh, actually i approached uh, professor gautam v soni also again but uh, he said like he has uh, not vacancy for now so i approached other professors who are working uh, in the same microfluidics and um, i really uh, say that i got a opportunity to work in uh, indian institute of science bangalore under uh, sai shiva gorthi professor sai shiva gorthi he is uh, in the applied physics department he also works on the optics and uh, microfluidics and then uh, some sensors works so there also i went there because of my with the include of my previous research work and i approached him and he accepted my invitation uh, like he accepted me as a student to work uh, on microfluidics i worked there and worked um, i just worked on my uh, simulation and research work also uh, after that one uh, well, once um, because three months and uh, i got I just suddenly message to professor suman chakravarti in iit kharagpur because uh, he is uh, one of the finest and pure research professor in microfluidics in india not only in india most of uh, he is very famous in all over world one of the professor i can say in microfluidics so i just in the middle of my project uh, duration i approach him in the mail, in the mail and do you even i don't even know whether he can reply me or not but he just he replied me in a very quick of time i can say is uh, very responsive so after that i got really and he also the say, say and he also mentioned that we also have some uh, project funds and also but i can't support you as a, like for any stipend but i can support you for your stay and for food so that can be efficient he said so i also agree with him because uh, i got a opportunity i just felt very happy that one 
So after that, I went to uh, IIT Kharagpur and there worked on uh, paper-based microfluidics. It is also very simple and very calorimetric uh, sensors. So it was uh, also a good research area to learn uh, vast applications in microfluidics. So it's a paper-based just like in a paper if you just uh, it's a property you know right the paper has a wicking property if you just drop a uh, water so it can mix uh, and then uh, spread out of the water likewise uh, so from the samples of human blood we can make a lot of uh, applications we can detect the diseases with the calorimetry because if a one color changes to other color because of the analytes so that we can change this, this person is like uh, uh, affected with the disease like the detection not like curing we can say for curing we have other purpose so after that i learned a lot of things from the phds and postdocs from there and uh, in the middle of the thing so i just started uh, uh, applying for the masters in uh, other countries yeah like i think uh, i think that was actually a good uh, the base you have planned uh, maybe knowingly or unknowingly that uh, you, you may be knowing but the, that is a good base or the uh, the platform to mm -hmm. go for higher education and uh, it may give you the better i mean usually people ask like uh, how how to convince a professor and all so this is one of the suggestions like try to build up the base and then keep trying then there yeah. may be chances of improved response mm. yeah so actually i 